ago today, and a Valley man was in New Zealand when the quake hit. One day he's playing in a tennis tournament, the next he is fighting to survive. Yeah, what a change. KPSB Local 2's Arthi Nehru joins us in studio. Arthi, you got a chance to talk to this man today. What was it like when the quake first struck? Mike Betterly describes the moments after the quake as a war zone. Fires, flooding, and fallen buildings, not to mention aftershocks happening every hour. Today he tells me he feels lucky to be home. Palm Desert tennis pro Mike Betterly went to New Zealand to play in the Senior International World Team Championships. He was sightseeing about 30 miles from Christchurch when the 6.3 earthquake hit. It was like a shake up and down. It was like somebody, yeah, it was somebody was behind you, like just shaking you unbelievably hard. Federally didn't realize how strong it was until he made his way to his hotel in downtown Christchurch. And it was like a war zone, to tell you the truth. Even the liquid fashion, the, the water that would come up from the streets and sand everywhere and he, unbelievable holes, huge holes in the road and big, big cracks. He took these pictures of the devastation. This one shows a pothole he estimates to be 15 by 15 feet wide. It was a scary sight. Half of the buildings fell onto the, the street and you could see beds hanging out, toilets hanging out, everything hang, hanging out. A triage center was set up right in front of Federley's hotel. And that's where they were bringing in the dead bodies. I mean, it was, it was very, very rough. Federley was stuck in New Zealand for several days, finally making it home on Friday. When I flew into LAX landing, felt pretty darn good. Arthi Neeru, KPSP, Local2.com. A recent gang sweep where more than 100 people...